what's going on everybody video 44 so um i just got through looking at the new orleans roster uh their free agency moves and then i noticed something they signed some dude that i had never heard of to a four-year deal so my initial thought was to get on here and and just you know sound off about the notion that they would give someone uh that it hasn't proven themselves a four-year deal and i watched some highlights and i'm like well i get it now there's a guy by the name of Didi Lozada uh, that the Pelicans locked up for four long years. And to be honest with you, uh, I didn't see a long sample size of what he did. But what I saw was that this dude is aggressive. He pops off the screen and he shoots the three off the bounce, uh, off, off the dribble weather to catch a shoot. He's a real three-point shooter, aggressive, aggressive forward uh, that fits perfectly with Zion in theory. So the idea, I think, was to take a, a shooter uh, who's an aggressive, uh, star-level caliber type player from overseas and try to get him for the cheap and develop him. This may be a home run for the New Orleans Pelicans, honestly. From what I saw, his skill set, um, just, just in a little bit of clips that I saw, this may, this may have been a good move. This may have been a good decision. In a vacuum, you look at it, you say, well, what the hell are they signing a nobody due to a four-year deal? You don't lock a guy up like that for no four years, regardless of what the money is. You don't guarantee a, a nobody a four-year deal. But when you're the Pelicans, you've had the spacing issues that they have. When you're the Pelicans and you've had the financial uh, cap issues that they've had in the past and the, just the mistakes that they've made as a franchise, this could be a big mistake. But it could also be the type of move that could be a home run. Because if, if he develop, if you develop him properly and he turns into something, two years from now, this deal is going to be so far under the cap. And he'll be such a productive player on such a such an interesting deal because he signed it so early. So you know it ain't ain't it ain't a lot. You can also put a lot of players in your cap. This is how to how you get flexibility by finding gems like this. And putting him in a situation where you can lock them up. It actually made more sense the more I thought about it. And it's a really good idea, actually. Because what you can do is get him for the cheap. And never have, you can have him worked into your cap. His skill set is something you know you're always going to need. You see what I'm saying? That's, that's the key to the, a guy like this. If you lock up a player that has deficiencies in some areas that, that maybe the game is not going, then you're an idiot. But if you pick up a guy that you know he's a tall body, he can put the ball on the ground, he can shoot the ball. Hey, that right there are skill sets you're going to need no matter what team you're building, no matter how it goes. So realistically, what I saw from Didi Lozada made me feel really good about the New Orleans Pelicans taking a chance, a real risk, and locking him up and his skill set up so that they at least, at the very least, will always have a legitimate, aggressive forward down there with Zion who is not going to be in his way. At the very least, um, smart, smart decision. So, yeah, I was coming up here to kill it. But then I looked at what he was and who he is as a big, big size guard who's aggressive. Hey, man, that you look for players like that. You want guys like that and you want to make sure that you don't have to worry about bringing what they do to your team too often. If, they, you, if you can have them already in place, especially for the low, it's probably a good decision. So, I just want to salute uh, David Griffin for, for doing that. Potentially, it's a good thing. Potentially, it could be a disaster if he turns out to be nothing and you got this guy on your books. But again, what he does, even if he doesn't pan out, you love having a player like that as your very last guy on your bench. So this is a good decision. Anyway, that's what I'm here to say. My name is BDF44. Thank you all for watching. I'm out.